Hey guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm coming at you with my plan with me in my Oristel A5 Wide Cloud. This week I am using the Lucky Collection for St. Patrick's Day, and I think it turned out gorgeous. I will be using gold foil with this, along with some of my St. Patrick's Day character stickers. I don't have actually a lot, so I want to try and use some more of them up. I think I only ended up using like three stickers from the character stickers though and I also do have some leftover St. Patrick's Day gold items from Sadie's stickers from last year that I'm going to go ahead and use up a lot this year and um yeah I really love the way that this week turned out I love the colors of this kit I just think that Jess did a really good job with the art and picking the colors and everything so also love the gold with the colors as well. So like I said, I am using the leftovers that I had from last year and that included a large strip, which I think this week is the first week and even maybe even last year. I don't even know if I didn't do split bottom washi anytime last year. Sorry if I'm like kind of whispering, but I feel like when I whisper, the echo's not as bad in here. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But that is why I didn't split the bottom washi is because I had that large piece of bottom washi overlay to use and I thought it looked nice with the plaid. I think I had a lot on Sunday this week, so I decided to put the double box on Friday and Saturday because I needed to do three boxes worth of stuff on Sunday. This is the last video I actually have pre-filmed for Plan With Me's and I think I might try and film the next one talk through which I think would be really interesting I am debating on if I want to do a full talk through or if I just want to put down the base with maybe music and then talk through the plans that's probably honestly like I feel like it's very ambitious to do both so I might just do a talk through of the plans like me like talking in real time and then do a sped up base and I'll speed it up like really fast so it doesn't take any time so let me know what your guys thoughts are down below I'll try it out and see how it works I can't guarantee that I will do it forever but I'm in the zone I'm on a roll and I hope that I can keep going I also did use some paint St. Patrick's Day quotes from my shop those are still in the shop if you want to pick those up for next year or maybe you haven't gotten to this week in your memory planner yet I also did use I think some confetti from my shop as well, the chunk here. I guess it's called, I honestly don't even know what anything's called anymore. I'm just like tired. Anyways, I used some of those to break up the like clover boxes and I think that worked out really, really well. And I also did the confetti on the glitter headers to pull that in and then use the fancy clover headers on the sidebar that were from Sadie stickers. On Monday, I did have snooze and starbucks for breakfast we got snooze to go and i just love their bacon and their hash browns they're just so good then we did get a target pickup this day so we went and did that and then we played outside with the boys and gave them both a bath together which was super cute and then i did some quiet time with bennett i think we gave the boys like usually we give the boys um like before bedtime baths, but this day, I think when they played outside, they got really dirty, especially Theo, because I think this day we just let him like free roam and he was like so muddy and dirty. Um, so they both got a bath together. Then we did some quiet time, Bennett and I, while Theo took a nap. And then we had a little dance party. And then I put in that I was mad at Nick. This was like a, like literally this Monday, it was a whole month ago. I don't know what it was. I was probably just annoyed at something. You know how it goes. And then um, we did have Amy's because I wanted another milkshake like I had last week. And also Wendy's, which actually, I'm not going to lie. I feel like Wendy's recently has been like a disappointment when I've had it. I've only had it like, not like super often, but I feel like something's different with the chicken nuggets. That's all I know. I didn't, for a while they didn't have like lettuce, I think, which was probably like a COVID thing, but... I don't know. I feel like Wendy's is like on the decline for me. Does anybody else feel that way that goes to Wendy's and like, do you see a difference or is it just me? Maybe it's just the Wendy's that I go to, but also those were two different Wendy's that I had like Wendy's the other night and then this was like a month ago. So 
I don't know. I don't know. But there's a little conspiracy here that Wendy's is just not doing it for me. Then on Tuesday, um, I we went over to RH because I changed my mind on my dining room table, which I'm so glad that like I was able to kind of swap it. And I changed my mind. I like kind of had like a little mini freak out about it. Um, and then I was like, what if I can't change it? But they allowed me to change it. So I was really excited about that. Our dining room table, which actually still is not in yet, but hopefully soon. And then we went over to our house, which we've never been in before, but actually has some like really cool stuff. I feel like it's not like totally my style, but we found this really cool. It's kind of like a, uh, like a console entertainment center situation, but it was exactly what we were looking for for the playroom, but I could not find anything anywhere. So we ordered that and it was actually on sale, which was really cool. And that, and also with that, I mean, it did arrive broken, but they did say it was going to take like a really long time to ship, but it ended up like being available to like deliver, like almost as soon as we moved in, which was awesome. But the middle piece, which is like a, you know, 50% of it was broken, but I think that Nick said that it should be coming in soon. So I'll show you guys that on Instagram soon. And then we went over to Zara since we were right there and got Theo some more clothes. This kid wears their clothes like Bennett. I feel like we never had to change him really. Like he never got dirty. Like Theo does like Theo's always full of drool and like dirty dirt. I don't know. And also Theo like wears through his pants, like there's holes in the knees of Theo's pants, but Bennett like never had any of these issues or just like Theo's like clothes are just like worn. So I feel like we're constantly having to buy Theo clothes and I feel like I just, I just honestly don't get it because Bennett never wore through clothes and Theo just goes through it. So we constantly have to buy him clothes. That's the whole point. It's right. Then we did get lunch at, I think it's like copper or is it? I think it's Copper Grill, which is so good. It's in the domain, and we never like tried it, and we were so like bummed that we just like for the first time tried it when we moved. But they like do to go and everything, and they have the most amazing chicken wrap. It tastes like something that I've eaten like when I was younger. I used to work, I worked at restaurants whenever I was younger. I feel like a lot of people either work at like retail or restaurants. I worked restaurants but it reminds me of something that we would make like in the restaurant that I worked at whenever I was like in high school and it's so good and their french fries are so good they're like not overcooked but like crispy and then their ranch is really good oh it's a vibe if you live near the domain in Austin you should try it out because it's fire then um we stopped at H&M because we were looking for some things for Bennett and we got him a couple of things and then we went outside with the boys whenever we got home and I cut Bennett's hair. You're going to notice that I also cut his hair again this weekend because I messed it up because he moved his head and I just cut too much off. It was just tragic and I was like, it's fine. It's okay. Like I quit that day, but then I came back and was like, no, it's not fine. I need to fix this. So I will fix it later on in the week and I'll tell you about that then. Then I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos in the evening. Then on the 17th, it was St. Patrick's Day, which I did put the quote overlay on there, which I thought was really cute. And then I put in the Nick texted the wrong chat, which was really funny. It wasn't anything like bad, but he like was very mad. And instead of texting me, he texted a group chat, which I thought was really funny. Um, and I feel like Nick to everybody else is a very like cool, calm, like funny guy. But Nick was like really mad about something and texted the wrong chat. And I was like cackling and I was like, Nick uh but like that's my worst fear is like texting the wrong chat normally it would just like I would probably just sound like dumb I wouldn't say anything like bad but you know that's a thing and then we called Disney this day because we wanted to see I kind of wanted to like shoot my shot at reinstating my pass holder status because I read online like kind of mixed reviews on like how that kind of works and a lot of people were like it's not going to happen but then there were some people like were like if you get the right cast member and then some people were like they're supposed to and it depends on like the specific scenario so I was like I'm going to shoot my shot this day and I'm going to call and see what happens and you know if if I can't I'm it's not a big deal but at least I shoot my shot that's like basically like my thing like Nick's always like we can't do that and I'm like shoot your shot see what happens because like what's the worst no okay cool whatever so I called and they were like, oh, because you canceled during the pandemic. I didn't cancel like before. I canceled like after the parks closed um, that we could reinstate. So they said they'd call us 
in a within a month which I was actually kind of like worried wouldn't happen and I was like so like what if they don't call me and they were like oh you can just call and then they'll put out like another ticket to um call you again so they actually called us yesterday and we reinstated our pass holder status which is so awesome it doesn't start until we go back to the parts which is also awesome I thought for some reason that like it because it was like a special thing that they might just be like no it starts now um but I was really excited that it was going to be whenever we go to the parks for the first time so I was really happy about that that was like the best yesterday it was like Theo's birthday and then they called and I was like oh this is so awesome um but yeah I was like just shooting my shot and they said that they could do it and I was super excited and then I finished um working on my collab this day with fantasy wax melts that came out I think this week or the week after or maybe the week after that honestly I don't remember but it was a hit I was really excited about it and I had a lot of things that I needed to work on like the labels and the little freebie and stuff like that so um I needed to finish all that up and I did and then I cuddled Bennett in his room for a while and then for dinner we got a like package meal thing from Paul Martin's that was for St. Patrick's Day which is actually pretty good hung out with family and watched 90 Day Bears all on Thursday the boys slept in which was awesome and for breakfast we had McDonald's and Starbucks then the rug that I ordered for the new dining room came in which was really nice and then we got Lotus Chinese for lunch, which was so good. Then I put in that Nick got his um, COVID vaccine this day, which I used the cutest like Boba Nick sticker from Fox and Pip. And then I cut the boy's hair again um, because like I said earlier in the week, I messed up and it's hair really bad. Basically, I cut his hair with a clippers, like a pair of clippers. I don't know. And I like do like a weird like technique, but I feel like it always turns out looking decent. One time I cut his hair and I look, look back at the pictures and I'm like, that was terrible, Andrea. I also feel like sometimes I cut Nick's hair better than like whenever he goes anywhere. I feel like he, like he went recently to get his hair cut because he's like, Andrea, like you don't do it right. And then I look at him and I'm like, I can do better than that. Like, I just feel like I'm like, I want to fix it anyways. Um, but yeah, Bennett like moved and like a bunch of hair came off. So obviously I'm not a professional. (laughs) Sometimes I'm better. Sometimes I'm worse. Um, but I messed it up. So I fixed it this day. I just cut it a little short. I think it looks really good now. And I also cut Theo's hair because it was getting in his eyes and it was really long. So he needed his hair cut. And then we got McDonald's later in the evening on Friday. I had snooze again because I just can't help myself. And then it was a boring day. We listened to like sad Disney music all day. Not like sad Disney music, but Disney music that it made us sad. And then we, um, or not we, we listened to the sad Disney music. And then I just laid in bed after I took a really long shower. And then I went outside with Bennett and watched Superstore. And then I worked on my laptop while Nick watched Falcon and Winter Soldier. I didn't get anything about that show. I like kind of watched the first episode and I've never watched anything Marvel besides WandaVision. And I was like, who's that? What's going on? What's in his book? What's up with Captain America? I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I was like, I'm just going to work on my computer. Then on Saturday, Nick got crumble, and then I was super anxious because I was getting my um, COVID shot, and I went and got it. I went to HEB, which is a grocery store in Texas, and I love HEB, and I got it, and it's all good. So, um, yeah, I feel like anything like doctor, dentist related, I get nervous about, except for my gynecologist. For some reason, like, and I'm not at all nervous whenever I see her, but for some reason, doctors and dentists, like, they freak me out, so getting shots is, like, my worst nightmare in the whole entire world, but the thing is, is, like, when I go to my gynecologist and I need to get blood drawn, I'm, like, whatever, cool, but for some reason, like, anybody else doing it, not a fan, but anyways, that day, my arm just hurt a little bit, and then that was it, um, well, actually, the next day, my arm hurt, and that was it, but anyways, so then we got, um, the copper grill for lunch again, I walked around H-E-B before that because I had to do the 15 minutes and then I took a little nap and then we got Jeffries for dinner to go and then we watched 90 Day Happily Ever After. Sunday my arm just hurt. It basically was just sore and I don't remember who said it felt like somebody punched you in the arm. I was like, yeah, that's exactly how it felt. So it felt like that the next day and then by Monday it was fine and then I got 
a holy bagel for breakfast and then we went to walmart and packed a little then we went to nick's parents and they made us armadillo chicken egg egg armadillo egg chicken i don't know it was weird but it wasn't as bad as it sounded and then we laid on the couch and i shaved my legs which i marked because that's always a momentous occasion and then the boys showered and bennett peed on the potty which was wild and then we had doc b's for dinner and watched 90 day that was a little bit off but i hope that it was still okay so these are the stickers that i have left i for a long time stopped doing this but i kind of like showing you kind of how many stickers i use what pages i frequent I hope you guys like this week's plan with me and I will be back with more next week. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video.